Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Crystal from Electric Pandemonium. Um, today I am going to be using um, Amazing Casting Resin for the first time. I have never used this or any kind of resin at all. Never. Um, this is actually the one that turns white and cures within 10 minutes. Um, I've never used any kind of resin. Um, so I'm hoping I get it right and I'd like you guys to join me while I figure this out. Um, and I'm going to be using Zuri molds. Oh guys, these are the most gorgeous molds. They are insanely detailed and intricate and just all out gorgeous. Yes, they are expensive, but guys, you get to have gorgeous, intricate molds over and over and over and over again. It's well worth the money. So, I, here I have the Rising Phoenix, the Fire Breather Dragon, and Love Nest. And I'm going to try and cast these with the amazing casting resin. So, um, if you would give me guys, give me a few minutes. Um, I'm going to prep everything and get all this stuff out of the packages, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Um, so I've opened everything, and the amazing casting resin has a A side and a B side. And I am supposed to put equal amounts of it in these, what looks like little medicine cups. They have measurements on the sides. And they sent stirring sticks, um, popsicle sticks. So, um, I am going to try and figure this out. I have, like I said, I've never done this. So, let's hope... I get it right the first time and don't waste any resin. <laughs> so I'm going to pop the top off of this. Give me one second. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so I have the seals off. And so I'm going to take side A. And I'm going only, I'm only going to put a little bit in. Um, I'm going to do the Phoenix first. It's just smaller and a little bit less intimidating. Uh somewhat. He's still very intricate, but I'm going to try him since he's just a tad bit smaller. I was told to put the resin in the most intricate parts of the mold first and then work my way to the rest. So I'm going to try that technique. Um, okay, so I'm going to put in five of side A. And five of side B. I'm just going to pour it in the same cup. Five of each would be right at ten. Okay, I'm going to take my stirring cup and just stir the living daylights out of it. Oh, oh no, I got some in my mold. An accident is splashed out. Oh, gracious. Hope that doesn't mess anything up. I am so not good at this, guys. I really hope I, <laughs> I get this right. So I don't need to be wasting expensive resin. Um, this is, I'm supposed to mix this for about two minutes. Um, until the swirly stuff is out of it. I'm just going to keep moving it around. Okay. Uh, there's like little dots or something in it. I'm not really sure if that's normal or not. Okay. Alright. I'll put my popsicle stick over here. And I'm going to start pouring right here. Okay, 
All right, now I'm going to quickly mix some more of side A. Oh. And side B. Let's hope this doesn't start curing on me before I get it done. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is quite an adventure. It's not exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> I did not know that it was going to be at all like this. So I am stirring the wind shit out of this again. Just trying to get it done before that starts turning white. Because it's always supposed to turn white within 10 minutes. Okay, so just a couple more stirs. Oh, man, guys, I'm getting this shit everywhere. I'm going to tell you, those folks who do resin for, like, a freaking living, you guys, major props to you guys. Like, no shit. Like, you guys are fucking fantastic at what you do. Because I'm going to tell you, this shit's, I'm intimidated all to hell. intimidated and I am freaking scared don't know how this is going to turn out but let's hope it turns out good okay so some of my resin did not go into the top part oh shit guys it's turning white Some of it did not go into the most intricate parts because obviously I didn't put it in there properly. So I'm trying to kind of just shove it up in there <laughs> and hope it takes it. Okay. So it is freaking turning white, you guys. I was also told that I could take a heat gun and heat up the process a little bit faster. So we're going to try that. Not gonna put the heat gun directly on it, but I'm gonna put it near it. Because I don't really want to blow the resin around outside of the mold. But guys, look at that. The shit's turning. It's fucking turning white. Yay! So if I didn't screw it up too bad. I should have probably put that over there. I am so excited, guys. I am doing my first resin piece. So if it turns out the way it says it's going to turn out. If mine turns out half as good as, as, as anybody else's, I'll be thrilled. So it is turning white, you guys. I am... So excited. I've actually never seen it like this before. So I am going to pause the video for a few minutes. Let it continue to turn white. And I will be back in just a minute. Okay guys, we're back. And as you can see, it has turned completely white. I am terrified that I'm going to mess this up, break it, or something. I'm not really sure if it's fully cured. Um, I waited a little longer than 10 minutes to kind of, you know, see what would happen. And now I'm taking it out. Wow! Oh, good gracious. God, look at that. It came out, like, so easy. Like, that was... Wow. 
Look at all those details. Oh. Guys, you've got to go over to Zuri Molds and purchase some of these molds. And also, uh, dis Disorganized Crafter on SD, she's doing pre-orders. Um, she's doing a badass wolf on there that I so, so, so cannot wait to get. But um, she's doing pre-orders, so if you don't see what you want on um, Zuri Molds, which I'm... How can you not see one you want? Because I wanted them all. <laughs> um, so, but if you don't see one on there that you want, or you want to check out more, you can head over to Disorganized Crafter on SD. Um, a friend of mine named Nikki, um, I'm sure you guys know who she is. I'll link her shop down below, um, as well as the Zuri Mold shop. Um, I'm noticing that there are some bubbles in the piece, but not bad for my first one, guys. This, I'm really excited about this. So, um, make sure you guys head over there and check out, uh, Zuri Molds. And also uh, check out the pre-orders on Disorganized Crafter on SD. And... Um, I will be doing some more of these videos, uh, with different molds. I have these two, and then I have some other ones, um, some Prima and, uh, Stamperia. But I'm so excited that you guys could join me, um, on this resin journey. I am, I'm just so thrilled at how awesome this turned out to be. Um, so anyways, uh, make sure you, uh... Subscribe, tap that bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, um, and give this video a thumbs up. Bye, guys.